be reviewing this. Um, this is the short bob wig that I've been seeing constantly, constantly on the internet. And I want to just show you guys everything that I got. Um, we're going to get to the wig in a minute, but the wig comes in this purple bag. Um, really cute purple bag that has their logo on it. You also get um, some wig clips um, for like clipping it onto a mannequin head. Um, you get this paper in there that kind of shows you um, the return policy and everything. Um, they also give you a wig cap. I love their wig caps because it's kind of tinted. It's more tinted than the one that I have on my head. So I really, really love getting their wig caps. And then they give you this little pouch here. And you get a comb in there. You get two, um, two hair clips. A elastic band. Wow, some tweezers and some hair pins. So this is everything that you get in this little bag here, which is very neat. The last wig I bought didn't come with all this stuff. So maybe this is something new that they're doing. I'm gonna leave all these things out because I am about to customize it. Like I did my last wig that I purchased. Um, this is just some facts. Um, how to care for your wig, how to use your wig, and what should you do? Um, what should what should I do if the cap size, if the cap size small or big for my head? Okay, I think I'm gonna leave that out just in case. Cause actually, when I purchased this, I didn't say on there like how, like what the size of my head was. So. I'm hoping it fits. My last one fitted real good. It was just a tiny bit too big, now that I think about it. Um, I still have that wig, y'all. It's just whenever me and my husband moved, I misplaced it, so like I don't know where it is, and I really wish I could find it. Um, so the wig comes in a hairnet. Came in the hairnet, and this is the actual wig here. And then there's this leftover net that they have here. So I guess they give you the option of cutting it. When I make my wigs, usually this is the leftover dome cap that I usually cut. So I am gonna cut this. The only thing is I see that this is attached to the band, to the um, stretchy clips that clamps on back here so I don't know how I'm going to cut that I don't mind my pregnant belly down here <laughs> so I'm going to actually I'm going to cut right here which is right above that so it still has some good stretch Hmm. Let's see, if I cut this band right here, it's going to completely probably unravel this part here that's holding that on. So, I wish they used a dome cap. This would have been a whole lot easier. I'm just going to cut it. What the heck? So far, it's holding pretty strong. Okay. So now we're back on this side again. And... this part off here and this part is still pretty attached so you can see how the 
thread is there's an extra stitching across right there so that works so that's the inside part that I cut going across and as you can see you get an extra comb there you have the combs on the side and then you have the comb in the back so this is the elastic band that's attached to the lace on both sides. I'm hoping that's in the right spot for me. Otherwise, I think I see why they probably have the extra band. So, so I showed you guys the inside of the wig. And so now we're going to get just a little bit closer just so y'all can see that you probably do need to bleach the knots but that is something I'm not going to do because I love bleaching the knots you can sometimes destroy your wig especially if you don't know what you're doing like me so I'm gonna go ahead and attach this to the end here so this is how I did it I went over and over like that so what I'm doing is, I'm securing this comb back here. And then the combs that's in the wig, I won't be securing those because I am gonna be wearing a wig cap with those. So those are for people who actually, the combs that are one, two, three, are actually for people who probably don't really wanna wear um, caps under their wig. It'll make it easier to secure the wig down, but for somebody like me, I usually wear a cap. Already the wig is super duper big. Not super, super duper big, but I have space here. Even though the, the band, I see why they attach the band here, because it gives you that extra support. And even on this side, I have, um, even on this side, it's extra wig here. I don't know if y'all can tell, but it's like bent. But overall, it feels flat. And to be honest, I don't think you're gonna be able to see that anyway. Do you see where I will have to cut this part? I'm bringing it down. But this is the wig. I love this hair. It's so soft. It's just, it's not too thin. It's actually perfect length, actually, and perfect, um, just perfect everything. <laughs> Minus it being so big on the outer parts here. And I'll have all of this linked down below like this exact wig in case you guys really, really like it. Um, but I haven't seen any good reviews at all. Actually, I haven't seen any review at all on this wig. And this Bob wig is all on their website. So I really was wishing that I could find a review on it. But I was like, forget it. I got 23% off and I was just so excited that I was able to get um, Get this wig for less than eight dollars so and i have to be very very careful not to cut this band off because that would be tragic actually so i'm gonna have to only be able to go just enough around my ear But I actually want to pluck it some more, so...
combs down because I don't like the bulkiness in the back so I'm not going to put those um, wig these right here I don't know what you call these but I'm not gonna attach these in the back because I just don't like how bulky it feels back there okay so now I customized the hairline just a little bit and I'm going to go ahead and pull this back. Try to do the ball cap method. Um, I'm not sure when I'm gonna do it, but I'm gonna try to do it sometime this week. But for now, I'm gonna go ahead and try to customize this part to the best of my abilities. And you can use a hot comb to do this with too. I just don't trust myself with a hot comb. I have one, but I just, I never tried it before yet, but I've seen people online do it. And I just haven't tried with a hot comb myself just yet, so. So I'm really liking this wig, y'all. I really am. It's the perfect length for me. I'm gonna go ahead and um, I'm gonna go ahead and heat up my. I got some um, styling foam lotion, so I'm gonna spray. On the back of my hand, y'all. I'm just doing this because I saw somebody do this on a video. <laughs> and I'm just going to take it and basically flatten down the top of here. together the hair is easy to flat iron it's easy to um, you know apply product to as far as like I use this um, mousse here but um, as far as the size that's the part that I'm having a hard time getting past like whenever I went to the website I don't remember them asking me to measure my head 
for asking me what size uh, my head is. So that's the um, negative thing I do have to say about this wig um, because I can't really, at least on this side, I can't really um, flatten it, flatten it. Like there's wrinkles under here, like two, I feel two wrinkles under here. So that's one of the downfalls um, I can say. Right here it says, um, on the facts about products, it says, what should I do if the cap size small or big for my head? Normally our full lace wigs, the cap size come only medium size. The circumference is 22.5 inches, but it brings, wig, it brings wig combs and adjustable straps inside. If the cap size is too small for you, you can make the adjustable straps more loosely. If it's too big for you, then you can make the adjustable straps the tightest. Normally this size is suitable for most people. It would be better if you ask a hairstylist to help you install and fit well. So, no, I don't have a hairstylist that I can ask to help me fit this. I am going to figure this out on my own. Um, but I do, I can work with it. Like I said, all of this is flat. It's just the little flaps, the flaps on the bottom, like back here. Can y'all see this? Right here. And this is with the comb here in and the comb in the back end. I still have all of this sticking out. That's the huge negative about this wig is that part. So. Um, but like I said, you can't tell it's like that um, at all. But I mean, if you was to walk up on me and be like, "Ooh, girl, your hair is cute," like, and get to touch and touch and touch it, you'd be like. A wig ain't secure down in the back but you know what I mean like a lot of my other wigs are aren't secure down in the back but I mean like if you went actually underneath and felt it you would know but this you can tell just by like putting your fingertips in and touching it like that but like I said it's not bad it it can be fixed I just have to figure out how to manipulate with it but it's gonna work so I really, really love this wig. Um, let me know what y'all think down below. Again, this is the Love Me Hair Short Bob. I'm gonna put everything in the description box down below. Please remember to like this video if you think this, um, if you think I did a good review on this video, I don't know. To me, there wasn't a lot of um, wig videos out there for Love Me Hair as far as like just good quality and just somebody really going in detail with how the wig look. So I was like, you know what, when I get my wig, I'm gonna do that because I'm sure it's a lot of other people out there that probably is thinking, should I purchase this wig, should I not? And you know, like me, it took me months to finally purchase this wig um, because I was trying to do a lot of research and I didn't see much. So I love, love, love. I did not have to go in and pluck out any parts like I did the last week, so I'm so, so, so excited about that. And yeah, y'all tell me what y'all think down below. If you're new to my channel, please subscribe and join us on this channel. And until next time, I love y'all and I'll see y'all in my next video. Bye.